I don't want to take as long on this problem, but I want to explain a little bit about problem 13 on the bottom of page 26, just to give you a, a little heads up, okay? So we have the sketch. First thing is let's mark what they tell us is congruent. So PT, so that's just this segment here is congruent to RT. And then angle P is congruent to angle R. They want us to prove that PSQ, which is way down here, is congruent to RQS. I'm going to put a question mark by those because we haven't gotten there yet. We're trying to prove that. So how can I get there? I don't have this whole line segment, okay? So part of me is tempted to look at this as a big triangle here, a big triangle and say, I just have a line segment, okay? Well, yes, we have two big triangles, but notice we also have a triangle here, and a triangle here, and we also have a third triangle down here at the bottom. And actually, if we just focus on this triangle and try to find out if these two are congruent, okay, don't worry about the fact that it's using a point out here to name it. We're just trying to prove that these two angles are congruent. Thankfully, they give us a tip. All right, they say prove that these two triangles are congruent. So we're trying to prove that PTQ is congruent to RTS. Well, I have a side on each one of them and I have one angle on each. Is there another angle that I know for sure is congruent? Okay. You can figure that out. How do we know those two are congruent? Once you know that's congruent, you can say the triangles are congruent using one of those, you know, SSS, ASS, AAS, one of those, okay? And prove that the triangles are congruent. Once they're congruent, now we can say, look at this, da, 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 da. this side is congruent to this side. Corresponding parts, remember, of, co of congruent triangles are congruent. So if the triangles are congruent, then these two sides are congruent. If those two sides are congruent, what is that the definition of? If two sides of a triangle are congruent, that's the definition of a certain type of triangle. And we just learned a theorem. Theorem one. And I'm not going to finish this problem for you right now. You can look back at theorem one and see if we've met the conditions and can use that to finish this proof.